Just a quick potato reveal again. Uh, Casablanca. Uh, first early. Yeah, I can see a few in there, whether they're good enough or not. We'll see. I don't want to scratch the skins on them. Falling out over here. Here's the sea potato. Well, that's not bad. That's one potato. Yeah, one potato, two potato, three. Now it's one potato in a bag of a 14 litre bag of compost with a bit of fertiliser in it. Happy with that. Right, same again. Another bag of Casablanca. Just different fertiliser in it this time. This is a pre mix of potato fertiliser. Whereas before it was um, my own mix. This is very wet. Very disappointing, I'd say. Yeah, terrible. I should not be using that fertilizer again. Right, we're taking these off. Shocking. Should not be using that particular Welsh manufacturer's fertiliser again. Well, that's it. A bit disgruntled there. All that from two bags look terrible. Oh, can't see my face. Right, we're at the front garden now. Um, I'm going to just open the uh, reveal, the pot of Casablanca in my own fertiliser mix. There's four spuds in this, 30 litre pot. Uh, it's going to be a bit awkward because it's a bit tight for room. What I'm going to try and do is balance it on here. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Uh, oh, you can see that, yeah, good. Okay, here we go then.
bit precariously balanced there. Nice. Oh, a bit high up. Just about right this, it's not dry. You see it holds your fingerprints and it's not soaking wet like Not bad. Bit of good management there, Steve. <laughs> It's the last reveal today, I promise. Okay. The reason I'm doing it today is because the Bartley show is next Sunday, week tomorrow. And what you need to do, you need to harden the skins off because, as you know, you touch these skins. Let me just do one, hang on. So I can do it. You scratch, look at that. That's it, the skin's peeled off. And that will not win you any shows. So, if you're being careful, it'll harden off somewhere. A bit of kitchen tissue. I'm running out of room here. Perhaps it's not a good idea doing this. Put that down there a minute. Like I said, there was four potatoes in here. It is the seed potato. That's well, well eaten away. It's given up all its goodness. I just know this is going to, oh that's a nice one, it's going to fall over in this, I know it is. Disaster, this root's coming off there. Disaster waiting to happen. Another sea potato. Ugh, I hate the smell of these, horrible. Ugh. And there's its daughters. I'm not going to do the. Uh, I got sorry. I got a similar pot of this with the Welsh manufacturer's fertilizer in. But looking at it, the leaves are exactly the same as the one in the back garden. The single pot. So I'm not going to touch those. Leave them a bit longer just to see if I was a bit impatient. It's all very well me slagging off and saying that fertilizer's no good, but perhaps I just lifted them too early. Don't know. Halfway through. I think that's oh, I was gonna say that's all the decent sized ones, but it's not, there's a few more here. Ideally for a show, you want um your potatoes to be about the size of a hen's egg. Or maybe a little, little bigger. So, what I'll do next week, I'll, uh, I'll do a video of what I'm exhibiting and uh, a video of how I've done. Fingers crossed, you never know, do you? It's all for fun. And if it doesn't work, you can eat it all. <laughs> oh, there you are, that's the last one. Mouldy, that wasn't it? The smell of those. Oh. Not bad, there's a few little ones here. And all this compost ends up on me allotment. Just save the, it just tops the beds up every year. Right, that'll do. I'll have a quick fertile through here just as I'm putting it into the dustbin bag. So, eh, not a bad day guys. See you soon. Ah, just before I go I thought I'd show you the uh, the fruits of my labour. These are okay. The middle row here and the top left and bottom left mm, pretty good for showing. And of course we've got these for eating. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Eh, not too bad a yield from seven seed potatoes. Mm -hmm.